it's our job to look at the numbers and make sure that they add up. And uh, just continuing that conversation uh, with the starting wage, um, where, where and how did uh, the governor's proposal uh, and what's the rationale with the $12? Where did that, where did that come from? Um, you know, I think the governor's talked about uh, needing to increase uh, the minimum wage to a more um, livable wage, and even at even at twelve dollars, there's individuals that still qualify for um, assistance from the Department of Human Services. So, uh, certainly uh, not the most livable wage, but we have to start somewhere. Yeah, and, and I I think that's a, a valid statement. I think we all would agree that that we'd love to start somewhere, and, and that just looking through this pr specific proposal um, over the years, there's been several nonpartisan studies showing um, uh, different reports on this. The Congressional Budget Office in 2014 uh, looked at an increase in the federal minimum wage at a two-step process, and they figured losing over uh, 500,000 jobs nationwide. The IFO in 2015 um, looked at increasing the minimum, minimum wage to 1010, and they uh, estimated 31,000 jobs lost. The IFO in 2017 Again, uh, 54,000 jobs, and the IFO again in 2018 uh, increased to 12 and two steps, 33,000 jobs. There are several other studies so that show that we will most likely lose jobs uh, with, with these proposals. Um, would you agree with that or disagree with these proposals? Yeah, I, th I think there's a lot of studies that say, uh, you know, that there would be job loss. There's also studies that say it really grows the economy. Every state around us has increased their minimum wage above the federal minimum wage. And I think it's important to note that if an employer is paying below um, this wage, they are being subsidized by taxpayers. And right. um, they need to have a sustainable business model that does not uh, subsidize be, that is not subsidized by taxpayers, and we really need to uh, increase that wage to make them uh, more sustainable and move them out of poverty. And there, there's definitely reports in, from to support both sides. I think we For can sure. come up with reports. But I guess my question is, um, what if these other reports are right, and what if the reports that, that you guys are looking at are wrong, and we have to come up with $120 million? What, what do we do then? What if the opposite is true? Yeah, I mean, it's, but I mean, I'm. <laughs> hey, the these question, are estimates, so this is what our proposal, this is what we believe. All our proposers are based on estimates, and we do the best job that we can on uh, the information of, available to us. Um, certainly, there are times where uh, we get the estimates wrong and we have to adjust, but that's true with any, any proposal that you can't have concrete data. I think there's just some consistency in these other reports over the years um, that, that we really need to look at this proposal specifically and just see if that is, um, if, if this is a realistic proposal. I mean, if it's, if it's talking points for us and everybody, that's one thing, but if, if it's, I would love to see a realistic proposal, I think, and I think everybody would. Um, I, the, the reality is right now, when I go out and talk to job creators, um, they're looking for, for employees. I mean, I, I have an email here that I'd love to provide to you from an em employer uh, up in our district that he can't find, he's paying two and a half times minimum wage with benefits and he can't find people to even apply for his jobs. So I think the notion that, that this is a huge problem um, may be off base a little bit. I think that we have a labor force problem and I think in the reality is in Pennsylvania and in, in the United States, if if you want a, a great paying job, you know you can do it, and you can you can uh, you can do that. I mean, just the fact that I'm here is a is testament to that. I shouldn't be here, you know. This is this is not normal for for my background and what I've done. But but I would just encourage anybody that's that's if you're is stuck in a minimum wage job and you feel like you want to get out, man, there are so many opportunities out there, and. Um, I would encourage folks to, to get the training that you need. I mean, PennDOT was here a couple weeks ago, and they are, they're looking for truck drivers. So, I mean, even in the, within the state, there are so many jobs, great paying jobs. And um, I just think that we're, we need a realistic proposal, and um, I think that, that we need to encourage folks to um, look, look and, and find those, those jobs out there that are existing that are well above minimum wage. I think the, the private sector and the market has really fixed that problem.